the crime and things that are was happening. This the one where if you report that they have a gun, the police will come faster. <laughs> no, but that was <laughs> bullshit. That this guy told this other guy to say that he that the he, the guys he saw com- bre- trying to break into his car had a gun because it would make the cops come faster, even though they didn't have a gun. It makes sense. I mean, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> an idiot, man. somebody else commented. Somebody else was like, "That's a good way to get innocent people shot." It is. Yes, it makes sense good. if you're having your car break broken. The guy was well, he chased the guys away, so <laughs> they, no, they weren't doing anything anymore. But then somebody was like, "You know, that's a good way to get you know an innocent person shot," and he was like, "Hmm." never thought of it that way i'm like fuck you motherfucker of course you thought about it that way that's the whole point anyhow um i mean if you don't care if somebody else gets shot that sounds like a very valid line of thought though i mean (laughs) so this guy in this group (laughs) where is it this guy in this group posted this thing it was really insensitive it was just an insensitive joke considering all of the crime that's been happening people started commenting to tell him that he was insensitive and he turned into classic toxic man Mm -hmm. who doesn't want to be told that he's not allowed to do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it like vicious man and i'm doing this new thing when i encounter dudes like this where instead of trying to talk to them and then eventually backing down which is my normal pattern i meet them hostility for hostility like if they are aggressive towards me i'm just equally aggressive right back at them just to see what happens when they're faced with the same type of uh condescension that they give to oh it's to me oh it, it's <laughs> terrible it's i know because terrible. that's what i do it's ter- <laughs> first of all i had one of these the first time i did this it came down to just me sharing i shared like 13 different by felicia memes because we were in a fight over who would get the last word and i wanted to see how long this guy, i mean literally he was just <laughs> commenting dot 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 but he had to come at something because he couldn't even though he had been backed in a hole and was totally wrong and there was no way to justify it at all he would just comment dot 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 after my comment just so that he could have the last like thing i have a really great gif for you that you should use next time that comes up it's like a banner but it all starts i think i might have shared it with you guys maybe not it's all roses and then they like flutter away and it just says fuck you (laughs) (laughs) i love it so i get this message from this guy so I'm, i'm telling this guy like you know you're you're it's insensitive to tell that joke right now and he uh, other people are commenting he private messages one of my friends and tell her that she really wants to get raped which is ridiculous so then i we're all reporting him to facebook mm. we got his account shut down for a while then his account was turned back on and he private messaged me this like long ass wow fucking thing and Damn. it's and it ends with like look deep in yourself face your pain and no one cares about you and never will you're a waste like that's the whole thing wow. like no one will ever love you is that, that a whole, tldr message the, the <laughs> whole post was just such it i hate to be an arm care psychiatrist or armchair psychiatrist but it was just all a huge projection, projection. and it, I, you can and as you <laughs> read it you can tell that this is just like the way that he feels on the inside Aww. and the only way that he could like he was so he just needed to tell it to somebody else for because some i don't understand that mentality <laughs> of like if i make somebody else feel bad it makes me feel better but it's so clear that that's what this guy is doing and i'm thinking to myself like this is sad like <laughs> at first i was you know and it's hard because you know you when you say things to that especially people like me i have depression whatever sometimes i hate myself to see it to see the words you know for a while i came back and i was like well this is really terrible but then after i read it a few times and people started pointing it out i was like this guy needs help i thought about sending him another message that was like can, is there someone i can call for you but then i didn't <laughs> yeah that but, that's a little snarky yeah, yeah. well and i knew that it wouldn't come across as genuine like even if it was maybe a little bit genuine but really not genuine fuck that guy he was terrible but like it's funny to watch these guys like when you when you meet them with what they give out instead of backing down how hard they'll dig in like Mm -hmm. they just dig in and they won't stop it's hilarious you should all try it it's so funny (laughs) that's just what i i got into an argument over pumpkin spice just today so i am i am internet oh yeah someone was like fuck pumpkin spice yeah they were i was I was moderating forums and they were bitching oh, about that's pumpkin always, spice that's always and i was just dangerous. like i'm not having this today no <laughs> no well i i went off on a tangent about um how people don't complain about peppermint and eggnog flavors in yeah. fucking winter they don't complain about shamrock shakes in march and they don't complain Ugh, about the other seasonal flavors the fucking worst <laughs> but you don't complain about but they, it you do no. complain about pumpkin spice because it's considered white white 
and girly. Yes, like girl. it's, it's the what, the traditional white girl beverage, and you can't so you can't like leggings, white girl and beverage. you can't like pumpkin spice. And they're just like, well, there's pumpkin spice waffles, and you were just talking about pumpkin spice Cheerios, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm talking about pumpkin spice Cheerios. Just like there's peppermint they're delicious. everything. They are exactly. pretty good. Just they're like good. there's eggnog yes. everything. Exactly. So, I did uh, see Cheerios. What? No. They're fucking amazing. Eggnog No. No. Oh. But those spice sound really good too. <laughs> yes. I saw pumpkin spice marshmallows in a bag and I was like, that's legit. <laughs> The, yes. the pumpkin spice Oreos were really good, too. Were they? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so I actually so said like, in the, uh, in the I, store. Totally, <laughs> oh, like, oh, totally oh, respect horrible. when someone doesn't like pumpkin-flavored something. Yes. I get that. But when you're just like, I'm going to fight the crusade to stop the pumpkin spice. Who the fuck like, cares? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pumpkin spice is delicious, mm. and you are obviously missing out. I do think it's being slowly overtaken by salted caramel, though. Salted uh-huh. caramel is super good, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, But the thing is, salted caramel is year-round. I was just going to say, salted caramel is, is year-round. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not at Starbucks, it, it's there, not. Like, but, yeah. around, mm-hmm. like, this time, they'll add it to pumpkin. But salted, salted caramel, caramel pumpkin in general is, is around all the time. Salted caramel pumpkin is just like you have hit the jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. I can't I even imagine what that tastes like. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I had salted caramel cheesecake at the cheesecake factory oh, yesterday fun. and I like almost died. I don't uh-huh. usually care for most of the um, pumpkin spice stuff, so that makes me I, I need to have my white girl card. Yeah, you're very <laughs> in general though, no you're girl. very white girl. <laughs> <laughs> in general, though, Jackie, I mean, you're like super non cliche white girl. I need, like most I need to do the white girl clashes, but cliches you don't, you don't. You don't. I need, I need to do the black oh, face people. and do other racist things. Oh man, it's been hello for friends. a few minutes. Oh, people are here. Oh, good, good. I like Legionnaire's comments that so the scorn players need to thank the lost last aspect ladies because it was until they said that scorn looked to be in a bad shape that PP said that they would fix the fact. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe they were we carry so much weight with PP. <laughs> they do like follow us on Twitter and stuff. So. And yeah. on that note, somebody, oh, yeah, oh, somebody wants to see your horns. Yeah, oh, your horns husband. are super sweet. Okay, so, so we'll, my costume update. Um, yeah. Here, doing, do you want me to hold this one up? Yeah. Your head? Um, so <laughs> they're much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So they look sweet, my, though. Okay, they turned so out great. Part goes oh. there. <laughs> I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Yes. So, Today we learned Celeste does not know <laughs> what Scarlet looks like. Scarlet looks like. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I'm working on. I have to, these are kind of heavy. Um, so I made them out of, uh, this is like eight sheets of I just foam. Do this. And then I wrapped it around with duct tape and then I put some it's more craft foam around it. It's in my nipple when it gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> it oh curls God. up. I was, I was <laughs> thinking it'd be a good penis. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Hi. So I did this. I am the new Tiberian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that what it, if you were the new Tiberian, wouldn't it be like they were down there? Like, <laughs> on his chest. It is a great rack. It is definitely a great rack, especially coming out of the chest. <laughs> so I'm working on these. I have I'm doing hipster scar because that's what I decided to do. Um, so I gotta figure out how to attach these to my Brian head. was really confused about your Scarbucks cup until I explained that you were oh, a hipster really? scar. Scarbucks. <laughs> Scarbucks. <laughs> I am kind of jealous of that cup. So, it's an amazing cup. Part of what I'm doing, I have these four-inch screws that I'm going to huh. drill. Oh. Because they're so heavy. And Andy gave me a suggestion. So this is the headband. Um, so Andy gave me the suggestion because I was going to wrap around like a Velcro thing to mm-hmm. around the back. But he suggested to do something back because he's like, it's just going to fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to like... I'm thinking I could do like a strap and then maybe like attach it to my shirt. Why don't you just do like a helmet and then attach it to a helmet with those? That's what he was saying, a cowl. And you can get a wig if you want hair. Yeah, so like my hair's black, so that's fair. I'm just gonna tease the shit out of it. Looks nice, by the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So that's my costume update. Hopefully it'll be done this week. What does that mean? No one really got to like see what we look like then. Yeah, nobody saw our costume. Well, I thought they did. Do it again. It was on when we did it. Well, no, but nobody was on it yeah. because it was... Oh, It's right. on now. Yeah. Right. So weird. That's All right, right, let's do it again. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm a nice queen today. I'm a witch. I'm a narwhal. We can have this conversation again. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what a narwhal is. <laughs> and they are not mythical. <laughs> they, they are not a mythical beast. And, and I, I promise you, if you think that they are... Please use the internet. <laughs> it won't lie to you in this situation. Let me Google that for you. <laughs> I'm, this is my derpy 
Captain America. <laughs> I like it. I don't. Um, my costume is for the guessing, and nobody has guessed it so far, so I'll show you my boob again. I guessed it. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I guess you did guess, guess it. it. You're the first person to actually guess it. This is my costume. It's a black circle attached to my chest. So if anybody can guess what I am, I'll send you some lube. <laughs> that's not a hint. <laughs> that's not a, my costume has a lube. I should have been lube. <laughs> oh, Next year, guys. Next year, I'll be lube for Halloween. So do we want to do a present? Yeah, is it yes. present time? We got present. A present, present in mail. Thanks to Celeste. Well, well, not right. thanks to me, but well, what's the guy's name? I kind of ripped it off. Right Joe, here. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Hello, Joseph. Thank you. I think he's watching. Yeah, he's yeah, watching. He's watching. Okay. But he sent it to my house. Yeah. So then so I got it and I shook it a little and I said, "Oh, it actually is scorn models." So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to tell them though. When when you showed us the picture of the box and said so it was really heavy, I am like, well, yeah, immediately <laughs> I was like, it's lube. lube. Our first <laughs> guess was it was like a gallon jug of lube. And then and then it was, I'm gonna lose my. Shit if it's scorn yeah, we, we both <laughs> <laughs> I had it in the off- I just brought it inside and so when you guys were like how much does it weigh I went and picked it up and when I picked it up and I heard it rattle I was like oh shit scorn <laughs> so my guess is scorn models because he hopes nothing melted yeah, I didn't well, know scorn yeah. models melt. Well, well. I have a great story about um, <laughs> Brian bought some models at Gen Con from Arena Rex because Brian is that person who likes to buy things that will never play. Mm-hmm. Um, Arena Rex model. It's a weird like gladiator game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the models are amazing, but apparently they used some really cheap plastic for Gen Con so they could discount everything. Oh, and he had a model that was just mm-hmm. sitting in our room temperature game room since Gen Con and the plastic was so shitty that the point where it like the models like oops, the the point of the support point that's the word I'm looking for melted and bent and so it's just like Brian like, left a, cavalry, a cavalry unit in the car in the middle of summer and now all the horses are like leaning at like a <laughs> almost. I had a really nice like plastic tray for carrying models on and it was one of the ones that um Oh, what's his name? The guy that helps run War Machine Weekend makes their trophies. I can't remember his name. Oh, um... I want to say Chris, but I feel like that's wrong. That one guy. That one guy <laughs> who does the War Machine Weekend trophies, and he Hi. does a lot of really, really that's cool his name. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The one guy. The one guy. <laughs> the one guy. I, I got, Chris I got sounds right, but I might be making that I, up. I think he's, uh, he's, he's, he's explosive I don't remember what his actual name sure. is, but I got a super sweet tray that he that he produced, and I left it in the back window of my car over an entire Aww. summer, and it's it rough. is no more. Oh, yeah. What's in that package? Okay. Uh, also, Chris, it is Chris. That, that we really Chris. like the Hello Kitty tape. Yes, yes. yes. That the Hello Kitty awesome. tape was amazing. It was the frosting on top. <laughs> I don't have any packing so this, this stuff. This is really which painful explains for why me that it was shaking because around. I love opening boxes. No, it's oh, there's really lots of candy. Oh candy. my god! Holy candy! Holy Jesus wow. Christ! Oh my candy! <laughs> there's no scorn models yet. There's a letter. Does it say <laughs> feminists can die? I was really afraid that I was going to get like bombed. Okay, it was old enough to be cursive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I had to learn how to do it in fourth grade. I just wanted to write and say thanks for an entertaining and educational podcast. Here's a little bit of localish made treats. Sorry, there's nothing as fun as exotic and exotic as Australia like the crippled system oh. folks got. Oh, that's all right. There's an extra gobber tinker I've been sitting around for a year that was bought by mistake for Casey or whoever really wants them is the old set of legion dice from the ho- oh. from when hordes came out oh that's kind of sweet and as a final kicker since the podcast is populated by white girls i had to include <laughs> something pumpkin spice <laughs> god damn it <laughs> thanks for the fun and enjoyment and i look forward to many more shows yes i didn't have any packing materials so i was extra so i put in extra halloween candy <laughs> Because uh, they bought some on accident and had too much. Uh, so much candy. Well, that is great oh, Halloween candy. candy, too. I it's love to throw that to our bowl. Yes, throw it in the bowl. Andy's going to be really happy. Give me that freaking Tootsie yeah, Roll. I want a Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. The rest of the show is just going to be us eating candy. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? Yeah. Chick a stick. 
crunchy peanut butter and toasted coconut candy. Ooh. Oh, that sounds really oh, those good. Those are actually really good. <laughs> it's like the inside. Oh, your mom fell. Shh. Our thing. Sorry. Well, it's not even <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> she just gave you a bad hint. <laughs> It was crunchy <laughs> peanut butter and toasted coconut candy, for those that didn't hear me. Okay. Uh, that and stuff tastes like what's on the inside of a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit, there's a bunch of those. There's oh my god. Three of them. <laughs> Amazing. Well, Jackie doesn't get one because she no. hates pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, she's a hair. And then peanut brittle. Nice. Delicious. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. That must be what I thought was scorn models. Okay, who wants the gabber tanker? I have what one. What is their FA? Two. 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 I already have two. I can take it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do the sweet tin. Yeah. too. Nobody wants it. I was in desperate need of one until I was gifted two of them. Well, <laughs> so I'm going to use this. What is what that? Is this? I don't know. Oh, it's like a sugar cookie. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, only the big Texan. Big Texan. I don't know. Is it fudge? Oh, steak? Maybe. Home of the free steak. I'm afraid it is a steak. Oh, no. Oh, it's fudge. Okay, it's not the steak. It's a steak. They just open it up and it's a steak. And it's like all brown because it's been in the sun. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Thank you. The fudge, yeah. No. No, I'll maybe the these will make my game better. Hopefully the fudge doesn't melt. Does it, is no, it melty? It did, no, not at all. No. Can you hand me a piece of fudge? Mm -hmm. I think we need a knife. I haven't actually oh, seen is it the like one solid like, it's chunk? Like big chunks. Okay. Yeah, chunk. Casey, can you pass down the Legion dice? I haven't actually seen them. Sure. They're really, they're really nice. Mm. They're nice. I have a set of them. The tray, the for the Legion that I really nice play. too. <laughs> oh, those are pretty. No, fudge didn't melt. I like those Thank a lot. you, Joseph. The fudge is fantastic, and you are Ooh, also these fantastic. Are really nice. mm -hmm. Um, yeah, anybody who hasn't sent us a care package is not as cool as Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That's an objective fact. Annie, yeah. <laughs> we need a knife. <laughs> we need something to cut our fudge. Andy, come out of the kitchen for a minute. <laughs> uh, Are we oh, supposed to tell him delicious. to go back to the kitchen? <laughs> when, he come, when he comes up with our stuff. Yeah, then, and then we'll be like, oh, now I'm going to need a sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got fudge. No, Andy's like a butter knife. A he probably yeah, doesn't fun. want to see I mean, the fudge work. in his... Look at his... He's the like, box oh. cutter will work. That's fine. <laughs> 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 that is so just like, oh, what is happening that. right now? <laughs> you don't need to eat that. that could just Are you stay. saying we're fat, Andy? <laughs> 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 not saying that. Uh, I'm fat and I need to add more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have this like... Get your own care package, Andy. Really. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, yeah, no, there there are five separate pieces. They are good. We are good, Joseph. No, <laughs> no, there's, there's none for you. <laughs> you get cool system gifts. It's okay. This you is our first gift. <laughs> well, maybe get you need better. to be sweeter. <laughs> you should talk about War Machine more. <laughs> <laughs> you should bring sex toys on your podcast more. <laughs> can I even use the God we're tinker? Oh, I can. I think Aaron so. can. Can I not? Maybe I can't. Oh, that's the best care package ever. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love really you. Good. I have been I was uh, thoroughly I was secret, careful. I was secretly almost hoping it was scorn. We, were, we had a whole plan for it. <laughs> it was scorn. Yes. Yeah. I was going to start playing that. We, <laughs> we were going to make it the official Lost Aspect Army. Mm -hmm. And as Jackie suggested, we assumed all of the pieces would be broken. So we were just going to glue it together however we felt like and make sure all of the models looked like females. Yep. And then we were going to become the best scorn players. Yep. yep. And we were going to put like a dildo in one of the hand to <laughs> represent me yep. and like <laughs> a stethoscope or something like we could find something a yeah. virtual reality headset for amanda <laughs> oh it, it Someone. repairs um constructs so I, if anyone else can use that i'm not gonna take it then i thought but you can take it, it if you play scorn again ever aaron's gonna want gobber tinkers if he's playing signar no one else wants it I have two i was gonna say if anyone else can use I've it i've got one already but i could take a second i don't need it don't sure care. yeah Cool. I already Gabber got dice. Awesome. Brian, when, I, still when I told Amanda. Brian that I thought it was scorn models, he was like, "Awesome, I'll take them." I'm like, "Screw you!" Thirtieth <laughs> <laughs> like on the list of the chain of command here. Scorn <laughs> 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 models. Thirtieth. <30th. laughs> 
Um, I'm going to eat way too many Tootsie Rolls now. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. dangerous. Yeah. I'm just going to like cover my eyes <laughs> just to pretend that it doesn't exist. I'm excited about that peanut brittle. Yeah. 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 I like the I'm pumpkin. excited about that pumpkin I'm excited about the pumpkin <laughs> There's, there's going to be a sad one of us for is what's going to happen. Yeah. Or I, will, I will sacrifice the pumpkin spice. Oh, like some rock, paper, sivir- no, scissors. I, I don't, I'm not that big into pumpkin spice <laughs> if you want it. I had pumpkin spice to French up toast this morning for breakfast. Yeah, I had, awesome. I had at the Pancake Cheerios. Cafe. Oh, man. Pumpkin good. spice just really is like it's I get that it's people. not a flavor that everyone's into, but it's yeah. just like <laughs> But man, it is that time of year. Yeah. It's, it's like cinnamon season. but not spicy. Yeah. Like really that's good. probably the best way to put Nutmeg. it. I need more tape. Yeah. Mm. Yes. That that makes sense. That's what you put in pumpkin pie. I, mean, oh, I mm-hmm. love pumpkin I pie. Tape. I thought I had tape on the end of my Oh, I haven't, I haven't even made pumpkin my costume pie before. Yet. Oh. It really doesn't matter. I have some fashion tape. Well, I don't have fashion tape on me. I was going to do my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to take it away from the microphone, but I don't think it helped at all. It um, just happened. Do you know how I squeak? Casey oh. has a nervous tick. I squeak. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I have a friend who hiccups. And it, her husband refers to it as her condition. She she <laughs> was so many hiccups. She's like, I'm sorry, I have a condition. And her husband just like gives her so much shit for it. I just absolutely love it because it just makes her hiccup more. I call it my Tourette's, and my mom's like, you don't have Tourette's. And it's like, and you, you don't know, know that. <laughs> Fuck you! I can't control it. <laughs> Andy, Andy back up here. Andy with a bug <laughs> knife. Uh, Andy has a knife. <laughs> if you don't hear from us again, <laughs> it is Halloween. <laughs> I once I I don't have time to argue with you. I had a fudge. <laughs> okay. You can you can have Andy. I'll share some of my fudge with you. No, I'm sure no, 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 Andy's all mopey here's, now. Here's the thing: <laughs> mopey is Andy. I am not particularly fond of chocolate. My As I've been eating all of this candy, and for you, that's the fair. Chocolate. Yeah. Insulin's for Andy. So if there's something that's like obscenely, like immensely chocolate, and right, it is like three of them. dedicated to me, which I don't think so. I think the other two are like white chocolate fudge. Yeah. Um, you should make insulin flavor candy. Gross. <laughs> <Bro, laughs> yeah, no. Don't you okay, you're candy flavored insulin? insulin? Wouldn't insulin? that make more sense? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Do they make like insulin? Ju- get li- what? <laughs> if it's human flavored insulin candy, human flavored. <laughs> no, no, I mean like <laughs> human <laughs> insulin flavored candy. I like human flavored <laughs> insulin candy better. <laughs> Just got called a baby restaurant. What? I'm not sure what that means. Celeste is a baby restaurant. Who is that? I don't know. Oh, well, that's Brian. Your costume. Your costume. Brian, you are wrong. No. Is, oh, that's your Brian? Yeah. yeah. Baby restaurant? I don't, I don't even understand. I don't get the reference either. <laughs> I thought you meant I ate babies. <laughs> no, or like you're a baby restaurant, you'd serve them. I serve babies. <laughs> I do owe several gay people some babies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Which yeah. seems like a nice gesture, but really, he's like, if you could not fuck up my table, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I can't even answer. It's true. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. This one looks like it might be chocolate with nuts. I'm that not getting it again. That one I'm might be sure. plain chocolate, <laughs> and that one looks like chocolate and pecans. And then there's like a you white one with a chocolate drizzle, <laughs> and then there's a hearts. white and yes. <laughs> I don't know. They're mythical. <laughs> they're not mythical. They're real creatures. Oh, breastfeeding. <laughs> you gotta censor the titty. Oh. oh. No, oh. Like that. If that were my thing, I would just have my bo- boobs hanging out. <laughs> Good guess. Those, no, those a, nursing tank tops It's a best reference to an 80s song. It's a, a, an 80s song title reference that was a good thought though yeah yeah censor censorship there you go. just the yeah. just the left tit though <laughs> <laughs> well if you only have one child the right, right. one can't be yeah. the other yeah, one's like covered sense. by a child have you seen the one where it's like somebody told me to cover up so she put the, a blanket over her head oh yeah, like, yeah. Her tit, and like, she's like throwing yeah. up things like, <laughs> i like the okay. the mini yeah. chocolate <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So just chocolate. The, the, the baby just chocolate. nipple hat. 
and talk to the penis. <laughs> okay, so it just looks like not a big fudge nipple. fan. I love it so much. Okay, so we have a not fudge fan. So there's more to go around. <laughs> I'm a terrible <laughs> white you chick. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fudge. I, it's not that I don't like fudge; it's that I don't like texture thing. Chocolate. Hello. Which is why I've specifically been eating. Hi, Lupus. Ferris. Ferris. Hello, good evening. We have fudge. We're we're eating fudge right now. So, <laughs> so, so this is fair. Is that game, Iron Wolf? I'm sure is that this is <laughs> enthralling for the people watching right now. <laughs> people listening, it's probably worse. It's probably like <laughs> rampant giggling, like not girls stop. giggling and, <laughs> and chewing. <laughs> like, exactly. Okay. Who doesn't love fudge? Fudge is awesome. I want a piece of that. I was getting you a piece of that. Oh, you are the best. Because it looked like the least chocolatey. Thank once you. We, um, once we each have our fudge, can we talk about if we want to do a like faction overview set of podcasts? Yeah. I think we already uh, decided that we wanted to do that. I know. I think the timing is an issue. Do we want to do it before the errata, or do we want to wait until after I the errata? I think we should do it after. after. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is bitch about how bad Cyrus is. Yeah. Like, I'm scared for the errata. I am not. It only can bring <laughs> terrible things, and I am aware of that. <laughs> I don't want my two units of brigands being nerfed. Cause yeah, they're gonna, gonna come. They're gonna, I know. Brigands are gonna. I would be anything that's good will be less good because scorn players are pissed roll, that anything is good. Mm-hmm. So everything that's roll. good will be less good. I mean, that's gonna be our fault too if we are the ones who inspired the scorn team, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, if the scorn if team scorn ends up OP, it's gonna be too. our fault. Yeah. Blame us. Maybe. Well, if everybody hey, sends it all back to Jason's to house. Us, maybe they'll make the Legion better again. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm getting a lot better at Legion. I'm liking it more. It, there's a curve to it. You know, Tort is, like, right on spot with the Mean Girls reference. Um, <laughs> sexy, black sexy black hole. Sexy black hole. He's right. <laughs> That's actually really filthy. <laughs> Uh, this is not my sexy black hole. That was my guess, actually. <laughs> Somewhere else. Wow. I don't bleach, of... so it is a sexy, a sexy black Trump hole. Costume. Yes, there is a sexy Trump costume. Yes, if you ask, if you ask Donald you Trump, that's just every day. Whatever's there. <laughs> Toss me some fudge. Just throw it right in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're going to wait until after the errata, and then in the spring we'll do like a, or late winter, we'll do faction overview mm-hmm. episodes. For all the people who think that we don't talk enough War Machine. Yeah. I will argue that we talk, obviously we talk more War Machine than they do. It's usually to a, a less... A low bar. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that, but it's usually like, when they talk War Machine, it's a little more like, smart. That's really well, bad. <laughs> like, the only word I can think of. Um, they're... More machine talk is a little more highbrow, yeah. but we yes. definitely get it on quantity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think that meme that was made of us too, in that conversation that ensued with that, um, you know, that, I can't remember the guy's name that made it, but he was saying like it's kind of nice to not hear all the war machine talk because how much can you freaking talk about war machine? Yeah. Like, well, until you ask Brian and Johnny and true. Jason. Oh, until and you ask the hoarders. Until you ask, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, once, once the hoarders start talking, <laughs> the hoarders never <laughs> end. It never ends. Brian was boring. boring. The word you're looking for. Yep. <laughs> I think Tort, was, Tort commented on how the last time I was on Crippled System, Brian was talking about War Machine, and I just had my phone out, and I was just, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Candy Crush on them. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, God super checked that. out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to tell people what it is so that I can stop putting it back on when it falls. Every time. You should have used some fashion tape. God Never mind. It. it is now a frisbee. I could probably get Any last one. guesses of what my giant black Here, circle? If you want some masking tape, I have some. No, don't take it off the horn. No, it's, it's fine. Don't it's ruin the horn. Anywhere. It's not worth ruining the horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you more hints. It references a song by a female artist. In the 80s. I thought you already told them that. That has, I think I told, said song. I don't oh, think I said okay. female artist. Who sings it? Um, I'm going to tell you and then it's going to give it away. Her name is Bonnie Tyler. That's like her only hit. No, yeah. she also does. Um, I Need a Hero. I Need a Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if it comes on the radio, Nadine will go, Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> her well. So, Bonnie Tyler. They're old. Anybody? <laughs> yeah, Zeno's you. These bitches are like, I can't answer because I, I was bored in the 90s. I am one year older than you are. <laughs> I was like, going to say, I'm 88, and yeah, I love I just 80s. happen to be All very fond. Lupus has got it. <laughs> 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 well, eclipse of the heart. Get it? <laughs> you get it. <laughs> okay. 
I'm taking it out. <laughs> the we fudge sh- is make, delicious. Yeah, the fudge is amazing. Really good. We should make public vagina power t-shirts. I, you know, oh, man. I, cause, uh, or make, we can, I have an idea. Cuties we can would be make great. them and then sell them to fund something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> to fund awesome team shirts. Us going to Amsterdam to talk about yes. WTC. <laughs> <laughs> We could visit the red light district, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we should get really, really good and become our own team in the world team championship yes. and then sell vagina power shirts Step and on get pins. really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> he is going to be the get good part. <laughs> We can just we can bank on being the token female team. Yeah, we could just or we could just go as commentators. Yes. Yeah, which would be, be much oh, yeah. more entertaining. Yeah. Um, By the way, just the female perspective of the game. Yeah, look at that douche. Really <laughs> um, you weren't there. We decided um, that we're we're uh, betting on the brackets for War Machine oh, yeah. Weekend. Um, and I personally have decided that instead of looking at people's skill level, I'm just going to bid on the cuter guy playing because there isn't a single female and I don't have to worry about that, but I'm well, probably going to win there's a last anyway. chance qualifier and I'm playing in it, so there could be a And if everyone else forgets their models, I'm totally going to be in that <laughs> shit. Keith, Keith is going to be in that. He's, he, he didn't qualify Fuck yet. Fuck <laughs> Forget your models, Keith, because there needs to be a girl represented. I I may see if I can get Aurora to eat a few of them. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One piece models only, because if they break apart, then that's going to fuck oh, up our Oh, that's true, that's true. No magnets. Yeah, no magnets. Yeah, that'd be yeah. bad. <laughs> Maybe we should not feed her. I would be at me like this. <laughs> well, it just would be horrible feeding a child magnets. No, well, like, magnets are one of the things we actually have to go in and retrieve because yeah. if they stick together, they, they can, can actually yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. things off and perforate intestines. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Which is not I mean, good. like regular chunks of metal, we don't necessarily care about. I mean, I've got there's, 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 a, there, there's a there's a frequent flyer in the RER that he's his thing is swallowing chunks of his sink. Like he's got a mental oh, problem. Mm-hmm. We had and this was, conversation yeah, where it was like, what it wasn't like the elbow pipe or something. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it was really impressive actually. There's an episode of Grey's Anatomy where a guy swallowed 12 doll heads mm-hmm. and came in and they had to take out his intestines. Not talk it. about doll heads right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I, 40 minutes and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I didn't, I didn't even finish the game. I'm just like sitting on this and the room and I have gone through like the the start where it's all the clowns and the room where it's all the the dead but not really dead pigs and then I got through the dollhouse and then there were mannequins and I was just like I can't do this anymore guys yeah. I'm done I am I am I am gonna die if I keep going <laughs> <laughs> I got eaten alive like no thanks <sighs> sorry I have family thing continue talking no your family thing is more important no it, tell it, us about it it's nothing. <laughs> When your child has four parents, mm. there, there's always one parent who like isn't quite on the same page as the other parents, and then and sometimes it's me, and sometimes it's mm. one of the other three parents. But right I now, I have one frankly, one parent. two parents are bad enough. Yes, mm. and that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I would live a better life if I had zero. <laughs> Especially or when it's, there's a really easy solution. <laughs> yeah. Kill your parents. <laughs> <laughs> three, three women and one man are the parents, the the makeup of my child's parental life. And we all work, we have, since the day that she was born, we have worked very hard to put aside our own shit to make sure that our relationship is strong for her so that she doesn't have to experience any stuff. And sometimes it's really funny because we'll like, we have a four-way text. We're always communicating every day with like what's going on or whatever. And sometimes, you know, it's text. So something goes wrong and then you'll get one of the three women on the phone crying what did I do I'm having, I'm having a bad day <laughs> and it like, rotates between us and then there's Brian and he's like everything's fine <laughs> because that's his role just to tell us that everything's fine that should fine. be such a good <laughs> argument for gay men being able to adopt because <laughs> right. they can't in some cases they're so, they're so rational unless they're <laughs> stereotypically like the super feminine fabulous yes mm-hmm. fab, because the fab if, they, if they, you have two so fabulous gay everything. men <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's like it's a 99.9 fever we need to rush them to the hospital <laughs> oh immediately Christ almighty <laughs> um, I'll say this though for the first four months of Nadine's life she was in the emergency room once for every month she had been alive and that was just us first time parents going oh my god oh my god oh my god Mm -hmm. freaking out all the time I think that's like 
I'm, I'm not having children, but I think that would be like the one thing I wouldn't have to worry about since I have younger siblings mm-hmm. and I am significantly older. I'm like, it's, you, I don't Whatever, know. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you cracked your head open. No big deal. It'll heal <laughs> right up. It's even worse for me because I'm like, oh, I've got sutures at home. I can fix that. Well, good. yeah. It's fine. That's another yeah. problem that we have. <laughs> when Brian used to do body modifications, so like when I was having problems with my dermals, I was like, I'm not going to a doctor. You need to fix these. Right. Like, just fix just deal with it, please. <laughs> I, when Nadine was like two months old, I laid her on the couch. It was like the middle of the night. She woke up. I laid her on the couch and I walked the like 15 feet to the fridge <laughs> and she to get off. a bottle and she was crying so she's two months old so she can't mm-hmm. do anything i thought i was totally safe she was like in you know blankets mm-hmm. she was crying so hard that she like lunged her body off the side and hit her head on the oh. coffee table on the way down oh. Mind she's about two seven months weeks old too. right yeah so i pick her up and i'm like fucking a my kid is dead <laughs> and she's fine she takes her bottle and then she's like eh, happy as a clam normal and i'm going she has a, b- a, a brain bleed she has a slow brain bleed and she's dying and i'm gonna put her to sleep and she'll never wake up so then i woke up katie and i was like yeah we're gonna have to go to the emergency room because <laughs> i just couldn't i was convinced the worst part about that is if we actually were to have scanned her that's actually more harmful did you know that yeah and they did they did mm-hmm. like a, a x-ray because they were or whatever dumb. and they were like oh, x-ray is okay x-ray is okay. okay ct is not okay yeah no i think ct is no go i think they just did Unless an x-ray absolutely because they when we got there they were like you guys are fine she doesn't mm-hmm. need to be here yeah we'll and even the x-ray, x-ray was more of a therapeutic yeah just to to make us feel better yeah yeah that's i feel like the children hospital ER was pretty much like okay Celeste and Katie are here again <laughs> fire up the x-ray machine <laughs> Whatever. yeah no CTs for kids under one in particular are actually it increases their cancer risks by hmm. quite a lot actually did not one know that of, one out of every thousand kids that gets a CT under age one of the belly or the head will get cancer they wouldn't have gotten otherwise that's oh. terrible and that's and it's only 0.1 percent but that's right. still that's 0.1 significant yeah huh. hmm. Hmm. good to know but yeah don't scan your kids recommendations <laughs> <laughs> don't be an asshole don't scan your kids don't grope people in vr yes yep. life lessons that you are learning from us Let's kill your parents if you don't like them <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious it is good. really good i've eaten so much chocolate or so much candy. i I fucking, I, I fucking love both tootsie rolls and m m so i'm happy yeah <laughs> that's great that fudge was some of the best fudge i've had and yeah, i had a lot of fudge, fudge. I see a bunch of stuff left over, and I'm so full from that fudge that I can't eat it. But I'm looking forward to. <laughs> I kind of want to try this other thing. As, as Those are good. Peanut butter crunchy thing. thing. They, they remind me of the inside. Their consi- the consistency of the inside of a butterfinger. Oh, oh they really? Have yeah. That makes me I sick. love butterfingers. Oh, do you hate butterfingers? I love. No, I, I love butterfingers. Butter. I miss butterfingers, but they've got I've got my mild dish peanut allergy. Oh, my okay. face swells up and whatnot. Yeah, don't do I that. I have that with cherries. And I still eat the shit out of them. I know. Uh, that would be really monkey. Cherries are great. Yep. They sure are. <laughs> and my face gets all itchy. Like, my mouth gets all itchy. And mm. I'm just like, this is so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> like, still, like, like normal cherries or like... Real the, cherries. I don't like okay. fake cherry flavor, Casey. Well, <laughs> that is <laughs> really good. Very good. Gosh. Fake no. cherry doesn't even taste like <laughs> cherry. <laughs> I don't know. I actually like um, maraschino cherries are really good though. Say, mm-hmm. um, okay. okay. But I like real cherries. The Bing cherries are yeah, the best. Uh-huh. Or the, um, the Rainier cherries are really good too. So good. Uh-huh. We got a cherry tree in our house. Oh, I'm jelly. Really. Mm-hmm. Was the other half? Keith is convinced that our entire yard is going to be covered in wasps whenever they uh, whenever the cherries come. Possibly. Wasps Worth are it. scary. Worth <laughs> it. We had to get rid of a wasp nest this year. That was. And he's he's can even though there were no cherries this year because I just planted the trees this year since we just bought last year, he's convinced that it's because I planted the fruit trees that I have not yet produced anything. And that's why the wasp nest happened this year. No, they just go where <laughs> and they they'll have. continue to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do do whatever the fuck they want. They it was they terrible. <laughs> Wasn't the other half of the. Because we were talking about the VR stuff, but then mm. there was the lead commentator. commentator. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. So, um, something Which is why that we should commentate, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get harassed, too. <laughs> yes. That's all I want out of life. Life <laughs> Like an underwater unicorn, they've got kick-ass facial yes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> he was quoting the song, the Narwhal song, which I will have to post, um, but... There's a song. <laughs> there is a song. There so a song my, my Twitch username is Narwhals. I, I, I don't sing in public. <laughs> 
she doesn't. I, I we're never I gonna go that. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with you. I but. will not karaoke. If I'm you, sorry. I was if you get me really trashed, I'll I sing. Was just gonna say that I've done karaoke <laughs> once and I was shit faced. <laughs> it doesn't so, take much out. I'm a really cheap drunk, so I, you may be able yeah. to do that. It takes like three <laughs> glasses of wine at really most. Sober. So <laughs> but my Twitch username is Narwhals, and that used to be one of the many online usernames that I've had. And people used to just like like post the video or like quote me on a forum with it and I used to, I just would get super pissed. But now since it's only my Twitch handle, I don't have to deal with it as often and I can embrace my love for narwhals again. Mm -hmm. Because they're like my two favorite things. I, I love nautical things and I really like unicorns. It's like and they're real <laughs> she really wants us to know that they're real it's or she true. really wants us to believe that they're real <laughs> she compares them I to unicorns feel and like so that they're real so I mean if you ask me are, if you ask I, I feel like you're on the edge where you don't think they I'm, exist I'm gonna look it up I mean if you ask Nadine she probably thinks that unicorns are real oh things. yeah yeah. Uh, Nadine would be all over us yeah. unicorn fish Narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> We should maybe I, should, I I have a mural in my kids' room of a uh, undersea stuff and maybe how do you I spell narwhal in there? N a r w h a l s. There I missed the H. Oh I've got I've got lobsters. Oh, lobsters yeah. are cute too. They're like scorpions in the ocean. They are. They are. They're <laughs> assholes. Too. When the first when the first answer that pulls up the first response is National Geographic, I assume that it, I have to. It could be an April I Fools. I told you it's. <laughs> <laughs> it could still be an April Fools. <laughs> That would be the best place ever to be a troll in National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> that, that was gross. <laughs> a newborn narwhal calf is about five feet long and can weigh 175 to 220 See? pounds. See? That sounds like bullshit, doesn't it? <laughs> Narwhals are normally found in pods of two to ten. The narwhal is the how unicorn they, of the sea. Okay, how could they, they live in pods if they all have horns and they're all swimming with their horns? They would impale they each other. That sounds like bullshit. Bump each other they with probably their horns do like bird things. Oh, bird the V? Like oh, a V <laughs> Bird things. And every one of us knew what she meant. <laughs> well, she made the gesture, you yeah. know. That's, that's why you talk with your hands. So people understand when you say something like bird things, you're not like, bird things. You're like, bird things. This should be one of our tags. Are narwhals real? <laughs> but they are. Or narwhals aren't real. <laughs> Also, by the way, the ATC, as John has messaged me, is March 4th and 5th of 2017. Oh, well, I guess we're current through March so then, then aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> the lineup and list submissions are due February 10th. Oh, okay. oh, oh we got plenty of time. Okay. I can so. actually maybe practice. Yeah. Yeah. If I actually show up to Friday nights. Are narwhal <laughs> dangerous? Yeah, well, yeah. They've got a pointy thing on <laughs> them. That's like asking if shark's teeth are dangerous. Oh, so I guess we can play this song. It probably won't. We'll just post it. How do they breed? Of course, this is a question people ask. Well, well they yeah. stick their thing in the thing. And then <laughs> That's actually... By their thing, you mean their thing, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> a sea like, 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 she could impregnate somebody <laughs> right now. Yes, okay. that's yes. my goal. Okay. <laughs> Um, that's probably like one of the the weirdest things you'll find on the internet. Like, there was like a BuzzFeed article a while ago where like all of the mating, not the mating habits, but like penises for all of the animals because mm -hmm. you don't have some weird ones. Yes, there yeah. are. Like a duck <laughs> looks yeah. like a, like a squirrel. Like yeah, it looks like one of those little noodles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good ER no story now. Dick. Speaking of <laughs> <laughs> speaking of noodles, I have and penises. I have a really good ER story. Oh. We had somebody that had a, a sports injury came in and said their noodle was damaged. So somebody was a we were doing you assume thought was their head brain. noodle their <laughs> their brain right. So we start doing neuro checks on and them, and they're looking at us like, if somebody like, says their noodle is broken, <laughs> and you're going to assume it's their brain, because only a person with a brain injury would call it their noodle. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he, they're looking at us like, we're stupid, and we're just like, what? And he says, no, my noodle, and then points to his dick. <laughs> <laughs> somebody yes. hit him in the groin, but he still, still had a brain injury. It's, it was his noodle. <laughs> it was his noodle. That, so, <laughs> I can share this with I you mean, guys. Yeah, there you go. There's I think you need to put it on the face. I, I like the video. It's yeah. very adorable. Is that from Weeble? Probably. Okay, it looks like their stuff. <laughs> I love Celeste's face right now. <laughs> I want that as my ringtone. 
I've heard the song so many times because people used to just be like, here, Amanda, you like narwhals. And I'm like, well, I like other things too, but thanks, guys. So we'll put that on the Facebook page and you can finish watching it later. Good. Good. They have four chambers. The I, French Quarter. Go to the French Quarter in a voodoo shop. Raccoon you can raccoon buy raccoon penis. penis bones for rituals. They I have four know. chambers. I didn't know penis No, I think that's the echidna. I don't know. Yeah, whatever that other penis is. The echidna penis. Raccoons are weird. Have four chambers. I didn't like, know penis bones were a thing. I don't know how well, chambers yeah, whales work. have a penis bone and they're like the size of a car. Well, <laughs> <laughs> is a More chamber the same as something like a whale? A male penis has like one tube for urine and one yeah. tube for jizz is that are those considered chambers i don't know oh, i mean they connect ultimately but before yeah, yeah i mean it's not like there's two separate i mean that'd be kind of sweet <laughs> <laughs> just pinch off the left side so that, you know, jizz. that would make it so easy just pinch off the left side yep yep or stick a cork in it yeah. <laughs> like, like just make and there's hope you don't jizz cork, cork. Cork. <laughs> jizz cork i mean people do masturbate by sticking things up inside their urethra that's horrifying oh. isn't that called sounding I have no idea okay. what it's called. That's it's called like horrifying. women who yeah. get drunk faster by soaking a tampon in alcohol sticking and sticking it up their butt. I've had to retrieve those. Why would you do that? <laughs> because well, it, that does, sounds because it does get you drunk, drunk really faster. Fast. And you can do it in your anus, too, actually. Get you yeah, drunk just that's where fast. I hear most women yeah. doing it, is in their butt. Uh, I'm not sure which would hurt more, actually. I feel like it would be really hard to stick Probably a soaking your wet tampon up your butt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless you lube it up real good, and then I feel well, like I mean, the lube is going to penetrate, is going to yeah. stop the absorption a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. It, I mean, the lube will just be on the applicators, since tampons have got applicators. Much. That's true. <laughs> Googling sounding. What the fuck? That's, that's <laughs> the church. I assumed that she oh, took it out yeah. and was just trying to shove the cotton up her ass. So that's, so. The, that's the four chambers of Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He said to Google it, so I did. You should never listen to him. Yeah, never, never Google. What the fuck kind of creature is this? Can I see? It's real. <laughs> uh, that's a dog having sex with a duck, which is a completely okay. different thing. kind of odd. That's what happens when you scroll down. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, what? Jackie is intrigued. It's like, well, remember my foursomes or my threesome story last time? <laughs> this is like the reality of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, about War Machine. Well, I'm fascinated. So, what does each thing do? Oh. Ejaculate uh, semen. <laughs> okay. Four different ways. It's just like a, it's well, like, and then it spins around. So <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's a semen so sprinkler. Action when it jizzes. It's a semen sprinkler. Jizz <laughs> <laughs> sprinkler. It's amazing. It makes you know like the sprinklers that they they, they go around and they go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of jizz. Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let's now be glad that human penises don't look like that. Yeah, yeah. At least or they're sad. sad. <laughs> 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 it is a new I'm new question. Hey, the one thing did look like penis face. So yes, this is yeah. more machine talk. The it is the weird penis faction. <laughs> it's just a bunch of different penises. So PP has been releasing a bunch of these weird like. Uh, teasers where the models are blacked out and mm-hmm. it's got like folklore or whatever, like, which I assume is teasing the new. <laughs> I think <laughs> so. The new <laughs> faction. <laughs> they have like sides and stuff, right? Yeah. So they're, they're, what we're saying is that they're pumpkin men and it's stupid. They're pumpkin men mm-hmm. and it's stupid. Well, well you're stupid. Know what they're gonna do? Stupid. Stupid. If you want to play with pumpkin men, go fucking play Malifaux. Or just go watch the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe I gonna play be, War Machine maybe, because it is steampunk fantasy, their, damn it. Maybe one of their things is going to be that they take off their pumpkin head and throw it, and it's like an eight-inch range pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that would and be amazing. And you have to swap out your model because now there's a headless one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. But you oh have to God. buy them separately. That would work great, though, because like in WoW, the Headless Horseman dungeon right now, like he fights as the Headless Horseman, and then his head goes off, and he got Go it's the head. same as a dismount. So, he's yeah, got his head, and then he's like, <laughs> I support this. I support it. I, I am not. I yeah, it looks a little, I don't know. Like I, The teasers just look a little odd. I am not. I am holding all judges till it actually comes out. 
You know why I'm judging? Because I have a faction that should be a real faction, and they're making fucking pumpkin men. <laughs> but it's for hordes. I mean, they, machines, they also so say they're making pumpkin kinda, men. Yeah. It's probably going to be like two years before they actually produce. Maybe the pumpkin men will be the hordes version of Convergence and we'll get no actual models and then you'll at least be able to be like <laughs> camaraderie. <laughs> 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 You were going to talk about your hots thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We keep forgetting about that. Yeah. We're really <laughs> on topic. It's all of the candy. All of us are like in we're, the middle of like a sugar crap. Right <laughs> like we're going to die in like two minutes. <laughs> you know that's a myth, right? Just keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you never okay. stop, you never come down. <laughs> I like that theory. There's something about the cocaine. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Cocaine's fucking expensive, that said. <laughs> I thought you were going to say awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the drug of choice for rich white people. It is. It's I will be one district. of those one day. Yeah. <laughs> financial district. Lots of people abuse it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. you're hot. Anyhow, um, I was watching Keith watch um, some hots tournaments just online. And some of the streamers, there's actually a couple of female streamers out there. And I kind of wanted to talk about esports versus conventional sports uh, as far as women's roles in either of those because we all know how horrific the NFL is and the NBA is towards women even just spouses of players and what have you and there are basically no female commentators that I can think of at least anywhere um, esports okay e- esports seems to be at least a little bit better and I kind of wanted to discuss why and how how we could improve that and how we could carry that over the tabletop game I don't even need to formulate an opinion. <clears throat> esports, are, there's a lot of female players. Mm-hmm. And if you compare that to regular sports, period, mm-hmm. uh, teams are just, they're all male athletes. That, that's not necessarily true. In the esports, for at least HOTS, there's no females that are Seriously? out there. There are very few. Yeah. Even in, in the I big remember, teams, there are none. Yeah. Not I remember with League, like, there was this one group of girls like, that were trying to get up there, and, and they the got... Chinese, two of the Chinese teams had, like, one female player. Yeah, but it some. is yeah. not common at all. Like, and she was, of course, surprised. the support. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta because be the healer! Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah. But I feel like... I, I was gonna... I don't know. Did you have something to say oh, about no, it? not really. I um, just kind of wanted to open up for the topic for discussion. Hair. I did. I dyed my hair black. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste says squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so, to go with Scar, I did dye my hair black. Because I'm like... It's it's lovely. Yeah, it's... um My friend, she does hair, and she used a conditioning hair color, so it kind of made it a little shiny and stuff. Yeah. So, cool. Oh, so, we're now we're going down the, Sorry. the path here. <laughs> <laughs> when is it going to happen? Well, you already did your... But you haven't done it in a while. When's it gonna happen? Mm-hmm. Crazy hair. hair. You're next. I can't do crazy mm-hmm. hair because work won't allow crazy hair. Oh, really? In case he works at a bank. Oh, you gotta oh. be normal. Oh. Fuck finance. That's sad. What mm-hmm. about you? When are you gonna do crazy hair? Mm, I haven't decided. I was thinking about dyeing my hair, but work won't allow me to do like anything really crazy. Like, I couldn't do your colors. It's <clears throat> unfortunate. You know, Blonde. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went blonde once. It was yeah. bad. Yeah, blonde is not a good look for me. No. I remember when my sister went brunette. It was fucking weird. Mm. She looked kind of like me. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. I did red once. Red was okay. You're thinking about so going to red. Is about it. When you say esports, mm-hmm. and then you say hot. Heroes of the Storm, League it, of Legends. It's considered a sport? Yeah. Like, basically. Gaming yeah. is a sport. Okay, I've never played Hero Heroes of the Storm, so I don't know how uh, it Starcraft. functions. Starcraft counts, too. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know any of that. Yeah, Brian it's basically, basically it's multiplayer, multiplayer, Brian multiplayer online games. Like, WoW, I assume, is the same where it's um, team the, um, the PvP, PvP can be. PvP, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, what I was going to say with that is, um, a while ago, last summer probably, we were watching, it was a hot tournament um and there was a female commentator on there and everyone that was watching the stream just totally ripped on her whenever she said something wrong they just bashed the shit out of her like like like, with, like actually calling her out like you're wrong you suck you're terrible yeah pretty much like yeah. you don't know what you're doing like why that's, are you here that's much. a standard if you are a female in any sort of position <clears throat> like any sort of male dominated position you have to be functioning at 110 percent otherwise yeah. if you slip down into 99 it is the end of your world. Well, 
I could, yes. That's true, I think, for women in most anything. Uh, yeah, any, any anything. male-dominated field. Anything. Well, even yeah. in cosplay, too. Like, if you cosplay as something, and if you can't, like, know the full history of that fucking character, you're seemed oh, like, as, like, a poser. Oh, and God, and God the told you fake gamer, gamer girl is, like, like a... Type. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that shit can die in a fire. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I think it's called gate locking. I think that's what we're talking about right now. What the the male figure that questions your validity of that your requires you to be far more perfect about whatever it is you're doing than yeah. they would hold any man accountable yeah. to as far as standards yeah. go. Yeah. Is that necessarily a male female thing though, or is that just a fandom thing like a penis swinging? I'm a bigger fan than you are. No, I think it's. I, I, I think it, it is. I mean, I think that there is some, uh, but I don't hear men criticize other male cosplayers. No, like, I do. Almost, they, almost yeah. never. There is. I will say that it is definitely a fandom thing, but it is more egregious for the the difference between the genders. Mm. If you are coming from the opposite side of the gender, and I think I would argue that potentially part of the blame is on the developers of the characters who over, who hypersexualize female characters because then men who consume those consume them for uh for uh some sort of sexual gratification or to get something sexual out of it and mm. then f- uh, feel and then you know they're h- expecting that anyone who cosplays also fulfills that same sexual feeling and for them. There might be some projection in that respect. That makes sense. I mean, you know, like mm-hmm. you when when we when all of your female characters or when lots of your female characters are hypersexualized, it really limits the number of women who can actually do that and and maintain that like hypersexualized According to the male standard of what hypersexualized it, does that make sense? Am I rambling? Yeah, but I think we're not on the topic of cosplay, and I'm also in this world of like Overwatch is an example that I am incredibly familiar with. There are some, there are some hypersexualized characters, and then there's characters like Zarya, who are sure she is buff Russian, and I mean, unless that's something that you're super into, probably not something that people are considering hypersexualized. There's not much porn of her, so you're probably Exactly. (laughs) She she is like... They shut down Pornhub, I'm just saying. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But she's, I mean, if someone were to cosplay her, there's um, a a really good example is a a female Roadhog cosplayer. Um, Definitely, okay, there's one that is definitely sexualized and one where it was a larger woman who was dressed as roadhog and that's a situation where like those are definitely not sexualized but you can still see um you could understand people who would still come from that and be like well do you do you main this character what like this isn't a character that Mm -hmm. you would play like stuff like that so i think i understand where you're coming from but i think that is a totally separate like pocket of a bigger issue yeah potentially I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> okay. I guess my point with the female commenter thing is like, yes, there was at one point there. She said that Zagra did um, the Maw, and she actually, or she said that she did Nidus Worm, and she actually did the Maw, and they were just like, oh, you don't know anything about this character, and it's like, she's freaking just commenting, like mm-hmm. just let it go <laughs> you know you could make an error by accident sure. because it's like and frankly, the, and frankly and frankly most of the male commentators sound like grueling really morons too yeah so it's hard to comment when you're seeing a, de- a dozen things happen at once it's right. the nature of it yes mm-hmm. so i don't know i've actually commented a lot to keith about frankly how terrible some of the commentators are for hots but that's another story <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are really bad. Some of them are really bad. Yeah. Just the the fake high high anxiety and all the yeah. trying there to make it sound more exciting when there's nothing going on. It's yeah. there Some are, are female really commentators in physical sports. A few, yeah. Um, not nearly as many as men. And I would say mm. that the the issue what I notice is that um, so much of the emphasis on them is what they look like. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like any the what's her name the girl who does the NFL. Uh, commentating. I don't watch the soul. The soul one. I don't yeah, know what I her can name picture is. her yeah. face, but I can't think mm-hmm. of her name. Which is, <laughs> I couldn't name any of the others. That <laughs> exactly said. the so, point. <laughs> it's, uh, any any time I see anything, they it's people talking about how she should look better, dress better. You know, blah, they blah, Fox blah, 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 blah. News. They're female commentators. Yeah. Like that's that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And ESPN. I mean, ES, uh, ESPN Sports Illustrator aren't known for being much better either. I mean, yeah. 
I wonder. It mm-hmm. it definitely feels like a like she's a cliche uh, employee, even just like they mm-hmm. hired. She's she's their t- their token female. They're, yeah, like, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my part of that also might be, especially on the real sports side of things. A lot of commentators, my understanding is, are former players or former coaches. So, and those are very male dominated or male entirely male roles. You know, mm-hmm. players are pretty much all male in the NFL. I don't. Unless you're going for the lingerie football league, which is sweet, by the way. <laughs> I would join that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Wait, lingerie you know, football league? Yeah. Oh, I you never heard of the lingerie? Yeah. Running it's, and it's a running. real thing. You wear bra and Sorry. underwear, Wait, and you they, play football, like have, rugby. Is, is they, it touch football? Yeah. Do they have big boobs? In the, yeah. Like, how, I mean, some of them are <laughs> buff as fuck. Like, like, you know, they've got, they've got, they're ripped. They've got six packs. Like, I know, like, with horseback riding, like, I wear a totally different bra because it's like... Oh, sure, because you're bouncing all those stuff. They wear appropriate stuff. Yeah, okay, no, so not like it's not like Victoria's Secret yeah. models playing football. Okay, no, yeah. it's, you're it's wearing actual a sports rugby, bra instead of underwear. Is that the basically concept? okay? Yeah. <laughs> or binders. They probably have yeah. athletic yeah. binders. Yeah, and I mean, so, and, you know, for the pictures, they've all got the lacy lingerie on for the like the promotional pictures. But right. the lingerie football league is fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexist and, and and shitty like that, but I don't care. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do wear skimpy clothes. <laughs> That's true, too. That's the only way they could get advertisement, and that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunate reality. I mean, that's like when you talk about the male, the American, the fem. I don't know the I don't know the facts. They're the female soccer team versus the male soccer team, and mm-hmm. how much better the women's soccer team is, but Our how much more money the men's team soccer really team makes. Great, actually. Well, isn't it the same too? Where like they they make so much more money, but like if the women obtain a loss, it hurts them much more. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think that's just the same. But that's again a lot a of that's sponsorship. But that's mm-hmm. you know sponsors ultimately respond to what we respond to. Right. Yeah. Right. And people don't watch women's soccer. There's also a no. weird correlation <laughs> with really. like um, the companies that sponsor women athletes are uh, stigmatized as as catering more towards lesbian women like Mm. not as much now but like if you go back 10 to 15 years like lots of female tennis players were being sponsored by like uh suzuki and like companies that were on the forefront of marketing specifically for like Mm. having lgbt line you know like specific advertising and there became this weird sort of like the masculine like women who are buff are more likely to be there was like weird stuff that happened there for a while where it was like what is the correlation exactly that you're trying to make Mm -hmm. you know with this advertising that you're doing it was weird Mm -hmm. Hmm. so i'm like deep in thought right now Mm -hmm. my brain is I also am <laughs> rambling, so. so. All right, let's go back to commentators. How how can we how can we approach this conversation and switch it into War Machine? Maybe we should try and go to the WTC as commentators. I think we'd have to know a little bit more about War Machine. Yeah, <laughs> super good in playing in the yeah. ATC. Hey. Step one. <laughs> Step two: our um, our faction reviews. Yes, yeah. there we go. Yeah, I mean, if we no. if we do really spot on faction overviews, mm-hmm. then maybe people will take us seriously. But as far you know, like for mm-hmm. people who could actually do something like that, I'd be down for going to Belgium. That's where they're going to be next year. Where Belgium? Mm. Mm-hmm. I would have a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> like I was waiting for someone to make that joke oh. because it was sitting right here. And I was oh, like, they're, they're chocolates, chocolates, and <laughs> Keith says their beer is excellent. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we'd have to get on like a. I don't know. At least myself, I feel like I'd have to be like on a Brian or John level of like well, knowledge. The, the thing is, you yeah. have to be a hoarder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not hard to. We could we could break it down and do. Mm-hmm. Um, each of us focuses on our own faction that we currently play, or factions. Yeah. Um, or focus on a faction we don't play. Yeah. yeah. And, like, just... I would rather do that. I think it would help me learn more about... Mm. I mean, my biggest issue is that I don't know what is happening on the other side of the table. Yeah. Like, 
That's a huge And that's the huge biggest problem. hurdle to get yeah. over, I think. Mm-hmm. So learning more about other factions. Ooh, Luke Vesparis like wants to know what blue color waffle, waffle, waffle. Not a blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, don't, don't even Google it. it. <laughs> don't Google it. Don't do it now. <laughs> don't know. She's doing it. <laughs> okay, don't, don't share that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've all, everyone but Celeste. Has Googled a blue My waffle. life is Unless terrible. This is like the fifth person Casey? I've trapped into you doing this. What the fuck is a blue waffle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have to pass it to her. <laughs> yeah, you're done. So. Just keep it facing okay, that way. Okay, actual literal blue waffle is not a blue Yeah, I was like, well, what's wrong with the blue waffle? <laughs> <laughs> Your safe search might be on. <laughs> yeah, turn safe search blue off. Blue waffle disease. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Go to the images. It's fictional. You want to go to the no. You want to go to the images. Well, it might be fictional, but according to Wikipedia, it's a fictional sexually Wikipedia's transmitted wrong. disease. Wikipedia is wrong. <laughs> we have a doctor here. <laughs> Which doctor here? Blue waffles disease is a vagina contamination and the change of shading ar- around tainted rain. What? <laughs> It yep, basically, yep, if you if you go to the images and you take a look, that's that's if all you, you need. Take, if you were to take a roast, put an axe down the middle to make it like a vagina, and then you were to let it get blue Why and moldy, it would look like waffles? that. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's it's crazy crazy pictures of blue waffles. <laughs> no, that's not true. I okay, you gotta pick that one. You gotta show them that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make this on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> come and get them. The blue waffles, come and get them. I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Uh, no, I, uh, I am going to Google it on my phone because yeah. your phone, I cannot Is this it. what I'm supposed to be looking at? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be looking at. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we nice. <laughs> Just bring it closer to her face so she can understand what's going on in that picture. What the fuck is going on? I think I see what's supposed to be a vagina. Yep. I think. Yep. Is that like the cleaner part? I think that so. is not a life demands Lysol moment. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be a life demands <laughs> moment. I'm surprised we actually got blue waffles. Like when I googled it, it was just like, oh god, please yeah, the go away. vagina. <laughs> but I've never actually how encountered. How does this happen? What, how, how does this happen? To Photoshop. A that's how it happens. <laughs> Ooh, that's a really case. gross, uncircumcised penis. Want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe that's what happens to penises like after the they attempt to blue. Blue waffles of. penis. Oh. Ew. Oh. That poor I mean, man. That's not. That's it not looks like it has penis. a mouth. That looks. <laughs> more, that looks more like it has maggots. Like in his foreskin. Yeah. This is what happens if you beef. don't clean the foreskin <laughs> for too long. Ooh. Or round <laughs> beef. <laughs> yeah. oh. It looks like an intestine wrapped around his penis. That's what it looks like. So it looks like a hot dog. Oh god, what is <laughs> happening on my phone right now? <laughs> what time is it, guys? Uh, it's time for 35. <laughs> I only saw that one picture, that one vagina. So, oh god, bring the blue so waffle to 11 party. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about um, so faction reviews. How, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do once the errata comes out um, maybe do a podcast where we discuss the errata and then start faction reviews after that. Yeah, I, I agree. Maybe one faction per per week. How many total well, factions are there? There's a lot. 12, uh, so I was thinking no, maybe 13, like two. Will, th- theoretically, there will be 13. Mm-hmm. Maybe so two per podcast, I think. Do, yeah. But if we all do three, like if we all take three factions, then we'll cover all of them and there will be some oh. extras of mm-hmm. us. So there's, well, three, six, nine, twelve. I like how everyone's giving us their local time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Does that say 625 a.m.? 8.35 a.m. 9.35 p.m. work to go to? It's, yeah, it's Monday morning there. Wow. What are huh. you doing awake this right now? This has got to be the greatest Monday morning experience of your life. Yeah, like, we'll wake up, up to us. Of Folgers. And, and then, like, <laughs> oh, let's so see what the vagina ladies have to say today. <laughs> Happy Monday. That'd be a good way to start the week. Little did he know, blue waffle. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, two, four, six, eight. So we could do two, two, each. two each. Mm-hmm. Six, and eight, ten, and then maybe one a week or one person a week. One. I mean, we could not do convergent because it's barely a faction. Just kidding. 
<laughs> you ma'am are ready to go to fisticuffs. <laughs> I'm teasing. How else do you get through Monday? I don't know. How but twelve get factions Monday. isn't including uh, the like minions, minions. offshoot mm. things, the or the mercs, the cephalix, and all those things that I don't understand. Mercs and minions, because I know you play minions, but they I'll, are pretty. I can do. I can encompass the whole thing. Okay, I'm okay with that. All of it with the with pigs. boars and pigs the pigs and the goats and whatever else is in minions. There's no goats in minions. Shut up. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the pigs and the, the goats are in your faction. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Pigs and gators. 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 There's some gobber things in there too. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. But like, then on like the, the min- on the merc side, isn't there? There's Pirates like and. Cephalics yeah. and dwarves. dwarves. Yeah. Snuffleupaguses. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so, scorn. <laughs> why don't we do... Why don't we each do our own faction? And then, well, I guess you two share, kind of. I'm going to do Convergence, though. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we do each do our own faction, and then we could do a faction that we're not familiar with. I, I could do Mercs. Yeah. Sure. And then we'll Sounds divvy up kind of. what's left. Yeah. Um, so who wants to do ones that they're not used to well each of us are gonna have to yeah. so you you would do legion yeah. and then something else and yeah well, i'm, figure, figure something I'm else. trying to figure out what who, who wants to do what oh we can just pick from a hat okay yep. <laughs> we'll pick from a hat when we get closer sure so but then do we want to so we'll devote we'll do two factions per episode maybe I think think devote so. an hour to each faction. I think that should be enough. Yeah. Only one hour to each faction? How many hours then for dildos? <laughs> <laughs> so we really We're need to do time. one faction per podcast. Yeah. Because one hour for dildos. <laughs> yeah, one hour for everything else. I think that's okay. It would take us all year long to do faction oh, overviews if we fair. only did one faction Maybe two per, per week. We might just have to make the podcast a little bit We longer. could just we could we take podcast every other Sunday. Yeah, I guess it would take us four months. Yeah. It's really time. not bad. Uh, I mean, months. as long if we podcast like Six this, months. I mean, we're really not like dedicated faction review. It's really going to be I talk about a faction and everyone else talks about dildos at the same time. Yeah, because mm, that's, that's true. really yeah. how our podcasts go. We <laughs> can we can talk about which which individual caster would probably what their I would preferred be down dildo for a drunk would be. Cast. Yeah. I would be down for a drunk Oh, I would be so down oh, for yes, drunk cast. Please. We were talking about doing a board game today, but I think that would have been a little hard, and we also have all of this all candy. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. But drunk cast sounds amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that when I get drunk, <laughs> I do very terrible things. Well, we just need to make sure we have DDs, or else Andy's going to have a lot of people staying over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make Brian come. It'll be fine. I, I uh, would make Brian drive. I wouldn't make him come. If Brian were here, he'd be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so we're doing that. Drunk. Yeah, drunk. Just watch how Jeremy does it. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> and do the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> so that's figured out. We talked about War Machine. Let's talk about something else as I throw my mic around. Okay. <laughs> Did we have other topics? I thought we did. We never <laughs> finished the commentator topic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, well, we're gonna try and combine that with War Machine. That's what we yeah. were gonna do. So we're gonna we're gonna commentate at WTC. That's yeah, that was our finish. <laughs> we should you know what we should talk to we should talk to Travis and Nathan about <gasps> if they for the ATC. I was gonna say you could yeah. commentate with the ATC maybe. We wouldn't be able to play them though. Well yeah. the commentating is normally the the final tables, isn't it? No. Honestly, you really just talk about them. like I would I would almost say it's like the hot tables during the uh-huh. entire event. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like the people you anticipate being at the top tables in the end anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we maybe call? we'll see how our teams work out. Yeah. Like if it's just us one team, or if you're gonna have multiple. teams. Because I think you can have like people as alternates for you. Yeah. So like technically, if we had an extra person, somebody could drop and comment, and uh-huh. then we could keep going. Can we try and make them all the entire game sound exciting? Oh, and he's moving his raider forward. <laughs> yes, what an awesome play, guys. <laughs> the whole game. I like it. <laughs> For those of you who are going to War Machine Weekend, yeah. did you get an invitation to Warm a Sushi? No. Mm-hmm. We haven't purchased our tickets yet. Shame on us. Okay. Um, Is that on Facebook? Um, yeah, so Brian's dad is Here's, going hang to on. our tickets. And we have a serious question. Oh, sorry. Serious question for discussion with example. How can I not take it personally when women complain about men in general? 
y- you don't. <laughs> That's a good question, actually. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, we do kind of take it personally when other people complain about women in general. Yeah. I think you just take it with a grain of salt and realize that men in general can do whatever they're complaining about, but keep your comments to yourself. I don't really know. I, like, I feel like it's a matter of... I feel like it's a matter of listening to what's being said. So I, I'm assuming that the question is with regards to, like, when I talk about men, toxic masculinity, or when I talk about men who are, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I think the first step is to listen to what's being said and then see if that aligns with the behaviors that you engage in and decide whether you need to make changes so that you're not the type of man that's being described because you don't get to complain if you if i'm complaining about a man who's a, a, you know assaults women and you assault women you like that you don't get to be upset about that but you know listen to what's being said see if you need to make any changes to the way that you engage so that you're not the kind of man who is being described and then if you're not the kind of man who's being described go out of your way to make sure that you're educating other men to not be the kind of man that it's really hard to like not take it personally because i I think it's like the same thing when people complain about like all white people i make fun of white people to no end oh me too like an enjoyable hobby but then when people are like well all white people blah 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 and it's like well yeah i'm a white person too but i think it's more a, a personal attitude yeah. to actually take offense or to be to be upset when someone complains about something that you fit into the adjective but not the action. Right. Mm-hmm. I think it's it really is a being able to separate those yeah. two things, the adjective and the action. That's a good way of putting it. The that. white person thing is a really good example because I there I consider myself to I try really hard to be on the right side of issues relating to race. And as a white person, I have to constantly be checking myself to make sure that my normal, the the privileges that just exist because of the color of my skin aren't clouding the way that I'm thinking about individual issues to make me on the wrong side of that issue. Because that happens. Like, it's not like one day you're not and then one day you're woke as a white person and you get it and everything's fine. Mm -hmm. I frequently catch myself saying and doing things and laughing at your use of woke woke <laughs> which is questionable whether i should have used it as a white person right let's talk about that but like i frequently have to check and see if my privilege as a white person is clouding my view and the things that i'm saying and the things that i'm doing and and if it's not then i know that that doesn't apply to me and i'm able to be proud of myself for having learned to recognize my own privilege and then choose behaviors that that aren't privileged it's the same thing you know it, you you have to look at what's being said and determine if that f- is what you're doing or not and then if it's not then it's not about you and you can be comfortable in knowing that that's not that we're not talking about you mm-hmm. yeah it's i think it's really hard to, to to get into that mindset of this person is saying something generally and I'm I'm feeling personally attacked because that I, I honestly really think like I'm just backtracking to what I said before. It really is just your your personal stance and whether you are going to be offended by what somebody says in general. I mean, we can go like the, the common one is always constantly on Facebook. All men are cheaters. We obviously know that that is not true. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that the person who is upset has a valid reason for saying what they're saying versus like coming at them and saying well I've never cheated on anyone or I'm a totally nice person and would never do that or I'm sincerely hurt that you would say something like that it's really just understanding that that person had something happen to them that makes them say that and then using your actions instead of your words to to combat that person's feelings all men do steal chocolate can I have some chocolate (laughs) Well, now that's oh, in your mouth. Too late. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was that's a nice generalization. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can grab the ones that it's less than. No, take no, it's all good. There's literally a bowl full of candy here for five people. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Should probably wrap up with recommendations. I yeah. will say. I will say though. The the first thing to say is that. In general, based on my experience, again, paralleling 
me as a white person to what you, the question you're posing as a man. He didn't say trick or treat first. <laughs> Andy! Oh. <laughs> Give me your candy. Um, in, in my experience, when I... You didn't say trick or treat. You guys would have just said trick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not falling for that. He's not wrong. <laughs> and where's your costume, Andy? We're here. I'm a war machine weekend attendee. <laughs> From 2013. He's a time traveler, guys. <laughs> um, okay, anyhow, <laughs> let me go back to my very serious thing. Um, uh, in my experience, when something is said about white people and my first reaction is to feel angry or frustrated, that almost always means that I need to check my privilege, that I'm on the wrong side of something inside of my head, or that I'm doing something or feeling something based out of my privilege as a white person. And if that's my reaction, it almost always means that, I, that I'm doing something wrong. And that's when I take a step, I try no, I'm not perfect, so I don't always, but I try to take a step back and evaluate why I'm feeling so angry, what it is about my actions that I took that statement personally. That's usually, for me, when I, a, a big red flag that I need to make a change. And I don't feel like that's something that a lot of people do, just as evidenced by how offended people can get over generalized comments. Yeah. Well, on both sides of the spectrum. Right. Because, I mean, let's be, to be totally honest, people, for using the white and black reference, black people do that too. Yes. You know, and it's hard to, it's hard to get into that mindset of they didn't mean me specifically. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Right. It's hard because as a society, we've gotten away from internal, like, introspection of of where we stand. Mm -hmm. And it's very common now to just sort of react with whatever emotion you feel Mm -hmm. and not stop and take the time to think through, why am I feeling this way? I feel like we've always been a reactive society. That's It's possible. Like, we just... Our... How violent our reactions can be might have progressed over time but I, I don't think we've ever really been an introspective society at least not like as when, a whole yeah mm-hmm. I could agree with that because I, I agree that when you go back into like our parents generation it wasn't like they sat around and thought about their feelings all day long no. they didn't think about their yeah. feelings at all really so <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's how I feel about that. So, recommendations. I don't know what's kinky, but I am concerned. I assume sucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody said that. Oh, um, Nate. Yeah, they're going that's to Andy Con. Yeah, Andy was sexy. Oh, Andy, sexy Andy. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Andy's <laughs> sexy Andy. <laughs> I mean, this shirt did say major tusk on it. It's <laughs> referring to that tusk. <laughs> oh, oh right. goodness. Right. That was a penis joke. <laughs> uh, recommendations? Um, this fudge? Fudge is great. Fudge is fucking delicious. Big Texas Fudge Company? What is it? The Big Texan. Do they deliver? www.bigtexan.com Yes. They probably will ship to Wisconsin, I bet. Mm, I'm sorry, but I am definitely kink shaming. Anytime someone says don't kink shame me, it's an immediate reaction and I will kink shame you. I know. That brings me to my recommendation. (laughs) (laughs) South Park, most recent season and the last season, 19 and 20, piss porn. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks to the water it's sports. <laughs> the episode where, <laughs> oh, it's um, Kyle's dad <laughs> admits to liking piss porn and has Kyle's mom piss on him and oh <laughs> it's it's the best scene mm, wasn't scene that in the episode actually so where he was looking at something and didn't want her to know what he was looking yeah, at yeah he so he's, he's an internet troll and he doesn't want her to find out so he told her that he's into piss porn <laughs> and then she gets upset because she wants to know if he just likes to watch other more attractive women piss on each other and he says no I'd like it if you pissed on me <laughs> <laughs> and it's cut to <laughs> her dressed up in sexy lingerie oh, Jesus. <laughs> pissing on him <laughs> And then the door is open, and then Ike and um, Ike and Kyle walk by, and they just <laughs> yeah. and they see. It's precious. That's it's it's phenomenal. Terrible. <laughs> BigTexan.com oh, equals porn site. <sighs> I mean, Big Texan. Uh, that sounds like a porn it site. Does. It does. You'll have to find out. 
<laughs> in the top of Texas. I mean, tourist stop could be strip club. So it may it may still be a porn site. We make no promises. <laughs> But yeah, South Park. I have a last episode where Mr. Uh, after Mr. Garrison decides he's going to run for president, <laughs> he's he's a giant so douche. Much along South with Park, the, I need to watch. He, he's a giant douche running against Turd Sandwich this season, <laughs> <laughs> and I really want those lawn signs. If I could get a Turd Sandwich lawn sign, I would put it in my yard. <laughs> oh, put it right geez. next to the people who have like the Trump lawn signs yep. up. Yep. I drive past so many every day in my Do little town of Wisconsin, and it makes me like violently ill. I have noticed. Oh, are, that are you in Sauk, right? It's the giant Trump sign on Water Street, right? Yes. That one's been there for like a year, and it's hilarious. Oh my god, I just somebody, don't understand those people. Somebody went to the trouble of making that. You know how funny that is to have a redneck. It's li- it's literally a piece of plywood that they spray painted one color and they it's use stencils to spray paint the word Trump, Trump. on. And it's that's that's very it's, hillbilly. It's the most, it's the most redneck right lawn there. sign ever. It's not even part. that redneck. No, <laughs> but there's so many. Like I just drive down mm-hmm. any street and there's like little houses and they crop up and there's fuck- and I'm just like, what is wrong with you people? Like. It doesn't make any sense. Nope. Um, on the road going to Nadine's school, it's like all, it's Germantown, so it's like fancy, you know? Oh, they do make giant douche lawn signs. I looked up turd sandwich lawn signs and I couldn't find anything. But they have giant douche. That's just funny. Yeah, because giant douche is Mr. Garrison, Trump, and then turd Got sandwich it. is Hillary. Got it. <laughs> Fantastic. And you get to, they are all, they're all arguing over whether they're going to vote for a giant douche or a turd sandwich. I yeah. feel like that's accurate. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Welcome to 2016, oh, the yeah. most disappointing year in history. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I will say that it will be. If you tell me that this year hasn't been bad, I will bring up Harambe. No. No. <laughs> this election has been a fucking disaster. <laughs> it's been awful. But I will say that. Uh, first woman president will be pretty historic. Yes. Regardless of anything else, mm-hmm. first woman president is worth celebrating. But it's yeah. not me, so I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they told me I could do it. All the little girls <laughs> in their heart on yeah. first female president. Everyone's just like, God damn it, I don't want to be president He's anymore. right. Next year, Kenan will be worse regardless. Yeah, if, if he's not wrong. Vote for Captain America. That would be the shit. <laughs> you cannot. Actually, oh Wisconsin God, just posted. Wisconsin just passed this law because it's different state to state. Mm. That if a candidate is not registered with the state of Wisconsin as a write-in candidate, you your vote does in. not. It just gets mm. thrown away. Well, yeah. because they do count it. They count it as a dissent vote, though. They don't count it as an actual mm. vote towards anybody. That's kind of important, though, because there's mm-hmm. the huge concern that people are going to write in Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Which I still have my heart set on as president. Mm-hmm. but I am not that dumb. Yeah. 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 Sorry, like, it's not going to happen. I know. Not this time. Yeah. Like, it I get that. Honestly, it either. makes more sense for us to flip the House and flip the Senate. Yes. And then have him be the Senate yes. majority leader. Yes. That makes leader. so much more that sense. That mm-hmm. is way more powerful than him as the president. Yeah. So if we can flip both of the Houses and get them, that's... Oof. Far more important. We'll be lucky to flip mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yep. I know that the I know that the, I know that the Republicans, especially in Wisconsin, are focusing on the Senate specifically because oh, yeah. Bernie Sanders would likely be the leader of the party mm-hmm. if if it flips. So I know that they're trying harder to keep the Senate. They have spent they, a fuck ton of money in this yeah. state. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's a real shame because Wisconsin really falls for advertising. Yeah. I think like people fall for advertising it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a uh, very funny. So recommendations, <laughs> recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So John and I went and saw the accountant this morning at the theater. That was actually quite good. Oh, and the account. Okay, the accountant, not an accountant. Like <laughs> we went to so an accountant. To an accountant today. <laughs> you should definitely do it. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, What's that movie about? It is Ben Affleck as a... He's an interesting character. I don't want to give away the whole plot because it is a significant part of the plot. Um, but he's just part of a lot of mobs. He's like their, their launderer, basically. Hmm. But a lot of shit goes down. And yeah, it's, a, it's more of an c- action flick, really, than a drama. So I just, I enjoyed it a lot. He's not your normal Ben Affleck anymore. Yeah. This is my favorite part about Brian's new job as a, ma- a manager at a theater is that I get to go see all the free movies I want. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was the biggest perk of working at one when I was younger. Yeah. 
except most of the time it was I worked at a shooting movie theater, so I would watch the movies while I was supposed to be working. Mm, cool. Mm. That seems like a perk. I, I feel like that's fine. Yeah. Get paid to watch movies. Absolutely. Yeah. I worked at the one in the Dells. It's the biggest shit show ever. At least oh, yeah. it was before it was like bought out three different times. Mm-hmm. And probably well, I still feel like if you go to the Dells, I mean, most people are there for touristy things. Yeah. So then you don't really want to. You you don't understand. Okay. You you don't understand. I guess they employ a lot of people, so there must be a lot of people who live there. Well, the the, the theater is always busy during summer really? because it's connected mm-hmm. to the Kalahari. Uh, yeah. And people seem to think that watching a movie on vacation is a really great thing to do. Because huh. they're dumb. Yeah. Like, I saw this movie while I was in Wisconsin Dells. Oh, Oh, it just makes you an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) I do that while I was in the Dells. No, No, go to the water parks or do something that you can't do at home. Anybody else? Anyhow, so he says fine gold is an eight-point lead in Wisconsin. See, the thing is, he had, like, a 30-point lead, like, three months ago. That's why we're worried. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll take the eight-point lead because the election is... Oh, yeah, absolutely. A hop, a hop, skip, and a jump. November twenty eighth, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trump voters only. November twenty eighth. Yeah. Special Trump only election. <laughs> hey, he could win that. The Trump only election. <laughs> <laughs> he might actually win the Trump only election. Uh, my recommendation this week is uh, Warbla. Actually, it was the first time I ever used Warbla. Um, so oh, it, it's um it's, it's the hard stuff on yeah. her horns oh oh yeah this stuff here so it came you, told me that. you can buy it in a couple of sheet sizes and i bought i think the jumbo size um but basically it's uh it's like i think it's like sawdust shavings and like glue and you take um, a heat gun to it and then it kind of turns a little darker brown when you've heated it up and it becomes it's like when it you get it it's hard rock, rock hard like this um, but then when you heat it up with a heat gun, it gets really pliable. Oh, that's um, super cool. Yeah, so it makes it really, like, this was this was squishy before. If you wanted to, I bet you could paint over it, couldn't you? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to prime it and paint it. Mm-hmm. So, I kind of like the color as is, to be honest with you. I it looks it looks horn-like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was going to, I have, like, a bone color. Oh, that would work, too. I was going to do over it. Mm. Um, you should do some washing in the in the recesses. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, because I'm like, That's how do I wash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, model paint level some serious <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. I was like, gosh, how am I going to dry brush this when I have just a tiny little brush? But I have bought some bigger <laughs> brushes. Is <laughs> 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 a dildo. <laughs> Only if you want it to be. Anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. It's, a, it's my horn <laughs> for, for uh, the uh, This is the G-Stop yes. massager. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very, right on. Rich. Very pointy yeah. for that. Wow. Wow. It's a Wonder. G-spot poker. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. It's actually my horn for Scar. So that's one horn, but... Yeah, this is where it goes. Where would I put it at you like this? I don't know what star is at all. The best part is, though, like, horns naturally go back. Shut up. I'm just like, what is I don't know name? animals. She's a demon, obviously. It's you got it. when you're a demon. <laughs> So, yes, for any of you that do anything, I guess, with costumes, Warbla is freaking fantastic. I burned my thumbs a couple times. I'm gonna have to to get on that stuff. I have extras, and what's cool too is like you cut it. I'm sorry, you cut it out, and then you can like mash it together and then reuse it again. Oh, so nice. you okay. don't have any waste ever. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. That is. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. cool. You get like a rolling pin for it to flatten it out and everything. Narwhal scar, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Probably do it. We can combine oh, our efforts. I was gonna say you should put that on in the week. We can compare <laughs> horns. Here, Jack, you want to give you a horn? You just. <laughs> oh, <I'm kidding. laughs> I thought you were putting them on my head. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, I thought they just meant <laughs> star walls. Star wall. <laughs> yeah, the texture of this is really cool too. Yeah, it's doesn't it feel weird? It's it's very like there's a, a a term for it that I can't think of right now. Um. This is actually a common problem. I have a, I'm, I have a degree in English, and people like to refer to me as a words major, and I forget most words as I'm talking. It's okay. I forget anatomy all the time, too. <laughs> it's not important it's at that, all. It's that <laughs> thing, that ligament there. It sits right there, and it connects this part and this part, and I can't tell you what the names of any of those are. <laughs> but you know they connect, and that's I'm what that is. I'm your doctor, <laughs> and I'm going to help you get better. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait. Sorry. Celeste ever sold the womanizer. I saw a Buzzfeed video where apparently it works to orgasm in three minutes. 
Uh, no, I've never even heard of that, but I, I have things that can get you to orgasm in three minutes. Is that the, like, super vibrator? It's, like, a kind of a big circle thing, and then, like, this little circle thing here for, like, your clit. There was, like, a video that I saw. I don't understand why it was being advertised on my Facebook, I'm but I do. It but it was, like, a super vibrator. Like, it was, like, it looked like one of those, like, Hitachi ones, but it was just, like, massive, and you're supposed to, like... I don't know. It's weird. I can't describe the Womanizer shape. Womanizer is what it's called? Yeah. Not it womanizer. might actually be the thing that I'm thinking of. It was, like, something that they made for medical purposes, and they found out that people were, like, getting off on it with their clothing on. It was, like, that intense. Mm. That's a vibrator. Vibrators were originally <laughs> built for this? medical purposes yes. because of yeah. hysteria. <laughs> See, oh. I just think going that, like, I guess it's time Is that you, what you put your clit in that? I think that's where you put your clit. That was my understanding. In it. Or wait. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> in it a little, but you know, it's tiny. Um, that's an interesting thing. You may have to try it and, and report. <laughs> <laughs> my company doesn't sell this, and I'm, oh, hey, there's somebody using it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, internet. <laughs> uh, so we're uh, looking up sex toys again. <laughs> Um, I had a recommendation and I forgot what it was. You, you uh, recommended fudge. That wasn't my real recommendation. <laughs> YouTube the BuzzFeed you video, woman try orgasming in three minutes. I think you're going to get a lot of it's different su- It's a sucker. So it, it simulates someone sucking on your clit. Oh. It, like, pull, when you turn it on, it, like, pull, tries to pull the clit in, like, Ow, a sucking. That almost. sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> Low jobs do not work the same for us. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, uh-uh. that's actually. That said, terrible. oh, another recommendation: blow job does not mean you blow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you ever thought that that was real? <laughs> that is not where oh the term came God. from. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't have any recommendations. Yeah, I had something and now it's gone. Uh, we got a question. Oh, I do have it. Go. Read the question first. Okay. With sex toys and artificial insemination, are men useless? Well, you gotta jerk off still, if we're doing artificial insemination. So no. Yeah. <laughs> Objectively, no. Unless they're cloning <laughs> sperm. Well, I guess um, you could conceivably. Uh, but you still have to make work, the sperm. Work. Yeah. I think that's actually probably. I <laughs> still need to be open. I don't know if you watched like a solid three minutes ago, but I opened my own soda bottle. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's already been opened. <laughs> <laughs> it was closed really tight, and I had to use my sleep to pry it off. I mean, on the same note, you could say women are useless once we have two babies. Yeah. I I really get. I think that the uh, sex toys make men useless argument is is. I really hate it. I hate it because the number one time that I hear it as a person who sells sex toys is from women who are afraid that their husbands are going to be mad at them for purchasing something because there are actually men in the world more often than you would believe who think that if their wife owns a sex toy, it makes it somehow better than them or it makes them whatever or she doesn't need that. She has me and there's this whole like hyper masculinity thing that gets involved where it skews the idea of... Anybody, I mean, the idea that a sex toy would make men unnecessary is a confusion of what sex is. Which is really funny, too, because try finding a man that doesn't jerk off to Right, exactly. You know? I was just going it to bring up that. That, that the same argument is makes us useless. Right. Yep, it you makes know? women entirely sexual creatures right. in the sense that if, if, our, if our entire male need is sex, not like... I like holding someone's hand. Right. Or like I like up feeling on physical affection. My dildo yeah. doesn't hold me, and you know <laughs> there are my <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> my shoulder. Like there, if you, like t- the idea that a man's only purpose is to put a penis in a vagina is ridiculous. You can't have a conversation with a dildo yet. Right. And, and there, there are, hand, there are sex <laughs> in his hand. There are sex androids. Yes. Though. But they're only women so far, as which far is as unfortunate. Right. It is. But even I mean. Uh, no. 
<laughs> men are not useless. It it's it, it it makes me angry only because I actually I hear so much like to this I had a woman one time who signed up online to join my team. So I called her. I had never met her. She went on the internet and did it. Mm-hmm. And I called her and it, her husband answered the phone. And and so I explained who I was. I explained why I was calling and he was like, "Well, I'm at work right now. I'll have to call you back." So then he calls me back an hour later and she's in the background crying, mm. swearing up and down that she didn't do it. And he's yelling at her about why would you contact this company because these relationships exist where men are so insecure about their own what they bring to a relationship that they think that if a woman has a sex toy she's not going to want the man anymore and it makes me angry because i watch women have unhealthy sex lives in their marriages and in their relationships because of that stupid and archaic idea it's just not even remotely accurate in any capacity at all what if a dildo had ai is what somebody's asking right now i mean see that's that's like a totally different conversation because me i'm sitting here i'm all into robots so like that's perfect for me (laughs) but unless it has a a full body and arms and an emotional sensor isn't that the same thing as a man well, but a dildo has AI. So your dildo says from your vagina while you're using it, are you okay? <laughs> like, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> like this? D- faster? Do you want it faster? <laughs> like, unless it's a... No. Who Aww. else? Who, exactly. Who else would your wife cook for and who else's feet would she oh, rub? I you. won't touch <laughs> no, just kidding. feet. I'm sorry. But it's... I it's, will gag a little bit. You're gross. I you don't walk think on them. We're, yeah. we're disgusting. <laughs> we're all in relationships, so I'll just pose the question. Is the most is the the best part of your relationship with your male partner his penis and what his penis does for you? Is that the best part of your relationship? Brian no. has been broken for months. <laughs> <laughs> I am so <laughs> <with him. laughs> I mean, Dark. no. The best part of Brian, Brian has a great penis, but <laughs> the best part about Brian is not his penis. And I would I would there are that's not the reason I'm with him. Yep. I don't know. Jackie's not like I mean, that's a really good part of it. I have to admit. <laughs> We're gonna need to take this up on the next. <laughs> take some time to think about this. No, I would stick around even if Keith got his dick chopped off. I'd be really be sad. sad, and I'd do a clone of Willie first. You could, if you just <laughs> put a metal plate on his crotch, and I'll sell you my suction cup dick. <laughs> and and suction cup, cup it to his crotch. Suction cup the clone of Willie. I can help you. We can even warm it in the microwave first, so it feels like the real thing, thing. and yep. then we're good. You got it. Loop it up. Good to go. Oh, oh God. Uh, <laughs> this review podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About that. My recommendation is Sugar Fire. Those of us who are going to War Machine Weekend, um, it's the barbecue place in St. Louis. Okay. That is oh, that place phenomenal. is fabulous. fabulous. Um, we will be going there. We haven't confirmed whether it was Thursday evening or Friday lunch evening. Um We'll go. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, I, so we said we were taking you guys. We're yeah. going to take you guys, too. Maybe um, maybe someone will bring me back a piece of yeah. pie <laughs> we'll for me. Casey a piece of... So we went last year, <laughs> and Casey stayed back to nap, and John brought didn't bring her back the pie that they had, for one, that he had, and two, he had all of the food that was, like, superior. Like, when you get barbecued foods, there's, like, things that are, like, primo, mm-hmm. like... The brisket is usually really good. Mm. The turkey probably isn't so much. Like, sausage. You right. don't barbecue a sausage. Right. He brought her back all of the foods that were like... <laughs> 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 and he doused them into spicy barbecue. <laughs> well, that was so penis might be the best part about John. <laughs> <laughs> At least he keeps coming Not back Not barbecue <laughs> leftover supplies. So, okay, so John has legitimate reason to forbid her from using sex toys. <laughs> Why is that? Well, if that's the best part of it. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're ever in Texas, we'll have to try Texas barbecue, but the farthest... Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 half of every meat. <laughs> 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 Jim up in the middle of the street. (laughs) (laughs) He was very drunk. He was in the middle of the street. Uh, You didn't say trick or treat. 
Like Andy, I know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you too, honey. Did you uh, say fuck you too? Not or did you re- say love you too? Someone oh, says they do okay. not recommend St. Louis pizza. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. St. Louis versus Texas barbecue. We stopped. What happens here? Well, last time I went to Texas, the barbecue was good. It was really good, but it... What's your... What I'd have to do, we'd have to do a head-to-head comparison. Anyway, oh, sorry. I it's almost okay. made out with you. I didn't mean <laughs> Real men fight toys for their significant others. For the what? He's completely right, by yeah. the way. What? Really? And I go to Selective Video all the time. It's great. Mm-hmm. Fun times. Good. I should, if you ever go to the Twin Cities with us for a War Machine tournament, we're taking you guys to Sex World, and you are re- riding the giant gold. <gasps> <laughs> I want you. <laughs> in the Twin Cities? In the Twin Have Cities. Have you been to the one with the giant pot of melted dildos? <laughs> are you no, I haven't been to that one. Oh, my forever friend. I, can't, I don't know the name of the actual place. I need to look it up. But as a PSA, to teach people not to store their their uh, silicone mixture sex toys together, mm-hmm. they put all of their melted returns in a in a glass bowl in mm-hmm. the middle of the store, and now there's just a bowl of melted dildos yep. when you walk in, and they use that as their That's PSA um, about. That's actually something really interesting. Um, backtracking to like acrylics and sil- silicon acrylics, um, people who stretch their ears uh, using body jewelry in general that is not body safe and right. being problematic. So yeah. J- yeah, pay attention to the stuff that you're putting in and on your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the bad part from the sex toy perspective, this is the worst thing. There's no there's no regulation there's no mm-hmm. oversight that they're telling you accurately what the ingredients in the sex toy is so there are a lot of companies shitty companies that will mark they will sell a sex toy and tell you that it's 100 percent silicone mm-hmm. and it's actually a silicone mixture mm-hmm. so it can be hard if you don't know what to look for in a silicone toy to know for sure you know that if you're not buying from your reputable reputable source or just like a back alley store or whatever you can get something that says 100 percent silicone and it's not and then you don't know so we always have to when i talk about sexual health i cater to assuming that people have toys that are not chicago pizza is the best I will have to agree with that. I will not disagree. Chicago pizza is the best, but that's just because I'm from Chicago, and I like to think that everything that I'm... It's just delicious. There are Chicago hot dogs that are supposed to be better. Chicago hot dogs are superior and always... um, But I I have been informed by crazy old people from Chicago that the reason why food in Chicago is better is the water. Because it's dirty? I I think that it's (laughs) more because it was originally settled by Italians and... Yeah, the large. But there's also like all of the 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 um, culturally, like there's there's a lot of culture in the city. So like there's a um, a Polish deli called Kasha's in Chicago, and that just has like the best Polish food in the world. In fact, you can get the pierogies. Oh my god! In the stores, (laughs) they like started shipping them. So there's this like little tiny deli on the corner somewhere. and you can actually find food from there, like, in major stores now. So Chicago food is just the best. I have to agree that the best, you know, deep dish cookie with ice cream was in Chicago. At a yeah. pizza place. He says Chicago pizza's firm and deep and, deep and yes. New York pizza's floppy. See, we don't have anything anymore. We are no one wants it floppy. <laughs> Who's talking about their eyes bleeding? I don't know. I don't know if they're... What they're referencing that too. I don't know. Are you kidding? What am I? What am I kidding? I I'm curious know. now. This Please is a respond, troll, sir. I got five bucks. Says it's a troll. Well, they're. they're but I think they're talking Karak about 666. the tax. I don't think they're talking about us. Mm. About what? About what? Yeah. Who cares? I don't know. I am cranky now. <laughs> 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 we should probably wrap up. Anyway. Yeah. We wrap up. Yeah. You yep. don't have a recommendation. I guess I'll go with lube. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. 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 If I don't have something else, I'm going to go with lube. <laughs> Use it. It's good for you. All right. So if anyone's in the War Machine Weekend, I guess you can find Oh, yeah. Hit us up. You know, we should have made shirts. I meant to do... Oh, my God. I meant to do last my minute. little... Things, I mean, I have a friend who makes shirts. I, I can see time. if she could put something together. Yeah. If not, it's not like you can't just get, like, a t-shirt and some fabric markers. Puffy paint. Like, oh, <laughs> puffy yes. paint. <laughs> puffy paint does some lost aspect shirts. I would love that. If I get Why time, do mountains tell such good jokes? Lupus. Oh, god like damn it. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> okay. I am 
I'm so upset right now. Keith That's fucking good. loves dad jokes. I and I fucking oh hate God. the Iron Wolf. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to end on that. Yes, Thanks we're a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah. um, three weeks from now? Next weekend, yes. yes. War Machine Weekend is nice the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Lots of people are going down on the 3rd. Um, I don't know when I'm going to dress up a scar. You'll see. Why when? can't you hear yeah. a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? The because the pee is silent. silent. We talked about that at some point, didn't we? How to silence your pee if you're a shy bathroom person? No. Maybe. Remember after Gen Con? You said about the, the shy pooper? The yes, yeah. shy, shy pooping. I tried it once. It works for pee, too, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. How? If you layer down a little bit of toilet paper on oh. the surface of the water. Good to know. So yeah. if you want to stealth pee, your stealth poop. What if you, you do can a be lot of toilet though? paper? I wonder, really but weird. you might clog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I often clog the toilet either way. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff it full of clothes first. And on top of it. There you go. Well, no, it'll Just, be fine. You know those little garbage cans they Poop have in, in the your wings? hand and then... <laughs> 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 no, those little garbage cans they have in women's restrooms for uh, 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 those. Uh, <laughs> those. <laughs> those. On that note, <laughs> I think Mandy, you need to come shut us off. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no, Andy's no more jokes. Oh, it's fun. Everyone having everyone having conversation. <laughs> what kind of computer sings the best? Adele! Uh, 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 <laughs> even Andy couldn't Bye! Are we done yet? Are we uh, done? No, we're still.